Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem again we are required to determine the reactions at the built-in end of the beams subjected to the triangular load distribution. So we have this cantilever beam and it is subjected to this triangular load distribution and we are required to determine the reactions at this point A. Right. So since this load is distributed so we have to replace this distributed load by a resultant so, the resultant will be equal to the area of this triangular uh, load distribution, right, so of this triangular area. So, I can say that the resultant will be equal to half of the base, this is the base and the base length is L and the height is this omega naught, right. So, we can see that this R is equal to omega naught L divided by 2, right. So, and this resultant will be acting at a distance of uh, 1 divided by 3 L, right, since the, this resultant will be passing through the centroid of this triangular area, right. The line of action of this resultant will pass through the centroid of this triangular area and as we know that the centroid of the triangular area is located at a distance of 1 by third of this distance from the, from this base of this triangle right or from this side of a triangle. So, this means that uh, let us say that the centroid of this triangular uh, area is located somewhere here let us say. So, this distance, this distance will be equal to one third of this length right. So, this means that uh, let us say that this distance is x bar right the distance of the centroid from this point uh, from this point A right from here. So, we can say that x bar equals to L divided by 3 right. So, now if we replace this distributed load by this single resultant. So, that single resultant will be acting at a distance of L divided by 3 from this point A from this end right. So, now let me draw the free body diagram, right. So, this will be our free body diagram. This is that beam. Here we have that point A and the resultant of that distributed load will be acting somewhere here and its magnitude is omega naught L divided by 2 and this distance is L divided by 3, right. And here at this point A, we will have uh, two reaction forces. Uh, we will have AX and we will have AY. And since this uh, cantilever beam is fixed at this point A, so this structure will support the moment uh, in the counterclockwise direction, right. Since this uh, resultant force is producing the clockwise moment, right. So and this support will resist in the counterclockwise direction, right. So, let us say this is M A. So, now if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0. So, as we can see that this M A is acting in the counterclockwise direction. So, I will write M A and this resultant is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So, I will write minus this is omega naught L divided by 2 and the perpendicular distance of this resultant from that point A is L divided by 3. So, I will multiply this with L divided by 3 and this will be equal to 0. So, from this we can say that M A this will be uh, omega naught L square divided by 6 and this is equal to 0. So, M A is equal to omega naught L square divided by 6 and the sign is positive. So, this means that the assumed M A direction is accurate which is counterclockwise. So, this means that M A magnitude is omega naught L square divided by 6 and this is counterclockwise. And similarly, if we want to find this A Y, so we have to apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this A Y is acting in the positive Y direction. Always remember that this is my positive X and Y axis is right. So, A Y is acting in the positive Y direction and this resultant R is acting in the negative Y direction and the resultant R magnitude is omega naught L 
divided by 2 and this is equal to 0. So we can say that a y is equal to omega naught L divided by 2. And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so as we can see that only this x is acting in the uh, positive x direction. So I will write a x and this will be equal to 0. So if we want to find the resultant uh, reaction at a, so that will be equal to a x square plus a y square and then we will take the square root and since x is equal to 0, so this means that our a will be equal to the magnitude of a y which is equal to omega naught L divided by 2. So this is the resultant uh, force at A which is equal to omega naught L divided by 2 and this is the MA which is supported by this end A. So this is the solution of this particular problem.